Cisco wants to reinvent the way you watch TV, speaking about all of this, along with just about everyone else, Google and Apple, to name a few, of course. So what makes Cisco's Videoscape the future of TV? Our Chris Valero is standing by with a special guest to talk all about this. Chris, over to you. Hey, Carol, that's right. I'm here with Kelly Ahuja. He's a senior vice president at Cisco. He oversaw uh, this new product that's actually announced today. So I, the first question I have to ask you, Kelly, honestly, is how is this any different from Google TV, from Apple TV, from everybody that's trying to get into this space? Yeah, you know, uh, there's, there's a lot of products out there today and many players. Each one is trying to provide an experience, but it's very fragmented. Right? For you, for example, if you're trying to watch uh, live shows, you're probably using your television set-top box and, and t television. If you're on the go, you may be using on-demand stuff using Netflix or, or Apple TV or Hulu, or you might be watching online content, user-generated content from YouTube, etc. The experience is very fragmented, and there's no integration of communications or social media in there. And what we're doing is quite different because we're taking service providers and Cisco together are re reinventing the television experience. And what we mean by that is taking the online television, uh, on-demand television, broadcast television, and really bring it together with communications and social media. So when you look at examples that people are familiar with, Google TV, Apple TV, those are not necessarily combined with service providers. Why did you guys decide to work with the service providers? It's absolutely critical that service providers deliver this experience because they're the ones that own the networks and they're the ones that have knowledge of the customers, where the customers are connecting from, what devices they're connecting from, and being able to have that knowledge and then tying it to the content is absolutely critical. But so far, people aren't catching on to this idea, right? I mean, Google TV hasn't been this great hit. It's gotten a lot of criticism. Apple TV has barely kind of any kind of market share. So why do you think this is going to catch on. Well, we think this is going to catch on very well because what service providers are going to do for the television experience here is the same thing that the mobile internet did for the telephone, right? People are going to be able to see the television experience that they get at home in the living room, and they're going to be able to take that and along with any other content and being able to take it anywhere they want across any network to any device that they want. And that's what's going to be. Because it's using the cloud, right? And we want to explain that to our audience. Now, everyone has a gazillion remotes to use to access all these different things. Um, how is this going to help people get away from that remote? This is going to simplify the user experience. There's going to be one user interface across a television, across a tablet, across a smartphone that, or a PC that people are going to use. And it's going to be the same user experience for communications, entertainment, and social media, bringing it together. You think you're actually going to make a lot of money on this? <laughs> well, we think the consumer market is a huge multi-billion dollar opportunity, and we're ripe for it because the video, the experience and the transitions that are going on are really around video and the network, and we're actually well positioned. Kelly Ahuja betting on online TV and, and more, I should say. Absolutely. Um, senior VP at Cisco. Thank you so much. Thank you.